Hi everyone and welcome back to another Manny Monday and this one is in honor of my brother's wedding. Can't wait for you guys to see. If you're new to this channel go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around this channel to help it to grow and definitely as always shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get started. Happy Monday, everyone. Great to see you and great to be in with another manicure. And this one is for my brother's wedding. He's getting married February 26th and I'm super excited for him. And I thought how great to do a nail design and a Wear It Wednesday outfit that I'll be wearing to the wedding, but get to share it on my channel. And hopefully I'll be able to share some wedding photos as well. And I'll just stick them at the end of the clip in my Wear It Wednesday video for you guys. But just excited. And this is the design I went with, uh, black and gold. We've got some stamping done in here. I've matte finished it. Um, I really want it to be more elegant looking. And so, yeah, I just stamped on some roses you'll see it better of course you've seen the cover photo but yeah I even matted the rhinestones in here I love the way it turned out it's so pretty black and gold is very beautiful together and I can't wait for you guys to see the wear it Wednesday outfit for his wedding so all right let's do our words of Jesus for women and then we'll get on to the uh, video we are on respect for God's house John 2 16 get those out of here stop turning my father's house into a market and it goes on to say, treat God's house with respect. This has become confusing with churches meeting in strip malls or warehouses. Some churches have coffee and pastries ready, readily available, and people come to service dressed very casually. Jesus' words go even deeper because he saw people in the temple who were making a profit by cheating poor people. God's house is for all people, rich, poor, new believer, old saint, young, old. Let all feel welcome there. And above all, honor God in your words and actions. Oh, well, I really like this one talking about church. You know, respect God's house because that is God's house. When you go to church, it's God's house. And a lot of times it is more for fellowship and uh, for, you know, just eating the, the treats and all of that. And we're not honoring what it's really about. You know, we need to go to church. I need to get back to church. We are going to be starting a new church and we need to get back to that. Just want it to be closer to home. And, you know, I just want to get back there because you do feel so much better when you're in God's house and it's great to fellowship and all that, but just getting the word pumped into you. That's truly what it's about, really having the word pumped into you and a great message into your heart. And so I'm just excited to get back to that. But it's so important, like it says here, and you need to respect the house of God because that's what church is, the house of God. So we need to respect it. And I really love this one, you guys. Really, really love it. And how it says this has become confusing for churches, meeting in strip malls and warehouses, you know, all these different places because, you know, things are just becoming harder and harder. That just shows Jesus is returning soon. You can tell when all of this is changing, when God's house is just getting so disrespected. And then, you know, some churches have coffee and pastry readily available and people come to services dressed very casually. Nobody's dressing nice anymore. Come on, it's God's home. Go there dressed very nice, very classy, you know, and, and very uh, just, just, you know, classy looking. You don't want to look, you know, um, what word am I trying to use? Just, you don't want to go there looking dirty or unprofessional or just casual. Go there dressed as if you are going to heaven. You know, if you're going to heaven, would you go there dressed in a pair of shorts? No, you would go there dressed very nice. I mean, we're going to be dressed in beautiful gowns and, you know, it's just everybody's going to look wonderful. So when you go into God's house, let's dress nice. Not only, you know, go there for his word and to, you know, be aching to hear the word and to get that pumped into you, but to also look respectable and to look good and treat God's house with the most up respect you can, you know? And so I like that, but just saying that things are changing, they really are just proving that the devil's working over time. And I mean, even with COVID and all of that going on, churches were closed down, but yet abortion clinics were open and uh, liquor stores, come on, you're going to keep that open, but you're going to close God's home. Let's not do that. You guys, let's not do that. Let's honor his word and honor his home. Down below says, dear father, help me to honor your house and treat it with respect. It doesn't matter if our church meets in a warehouse or a mall or a park. 
It is a place where I get where I gather with other believers to worship you. And that makes it a place worthy of honor and respect. In Jesus' name, amen. So what it's saying here, too, is it doesn't matter if you do meet in malls and warehouses, um, you know, because they're saying confusing the churches meeting in strip malls and warehouses. Basically, what it's meaning is it doesn't matter where you meet. If you're meeting and all the people are meeting to talk about the same thing, to read his beautiful word, you know, that's still honoring God. You still need to honor him no matter where you're meeting. That's what you're meeting for is to honor and respect and to get a good message pumped into your heart. So I really like that one. Respect for God's house. And it doesn't matter where it is, right? doesn't matter where it is. And if churches are closed down, let's get it out at a park. Let's get it somewhere where we can still meet as a congregation and still get the word pumped into our hearts. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with life's manual. Reading the Holy Bible and getting a great personal relationship with Jesus. It's so important, you guys. He's returning soon. Boy, we can sure see the signs everywhere, right? Everywhere the signs are there and Jesus is coming back soon. We don't know when. He's going to come like a thief in the night. The thief, a thief in the night. But we know as Christians when it's drawing near. And it's definitely drawing near. It still could be 50 years from now, but it just means that it's drawing near and we know it's coming soon. So be ready, you guys, and read and get a great personal relationship. Even I need to do it. Even I need more time with him. I can never do enough before my time is up for him, but I want to do as much as I can while I'm here. And I love to preach the good word here. I love to save a soul. I hope I save souls by these readings and teachings and all of that. I hope you guys are getting right with the Lord because it's important. We don't get a second chance once Jesus returns or our time is up. We get no second chances then. We get all kinds of second chances right now, though, to ask for forgiveness, to get our life right, all of that. But once the time is done, no more chances. So let's read this book because it was written for a reason and it's going to teach you everything you need to know. Even things like that, that even meeting meeting in a mall or a church, you know, a parking lot, and it doesn't matter if you're all meeting as a congregation, that's still church and we need to honor God and we need to get into his word, into his word. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you will definitely try it out. It was a lot easier because it was just stamping. Um, I was also, you know, needing to do something quicker for the fact that I got a lot going on with the wedding and everything tomorrow. But the fact that I also wanted it to be very elegant and beautiful to go with the outfit I'm wearing. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. And I hope you will definitely try out this look. It's so much fun. And you can do it shiny if you like it better shiny. Do it however you want. But yeah, I can't wait to share the Wear It Wednesday with you guys. And that will be what I'm wearing to the wedding. And like I said, if I can get some photos of the wedding of the bride and groom, I will get that. And even my little nephew, he looks so adorable. And if he'll let me, I'll throw it into my YouTube video for you guys. But I have to ask for permission. So let's get on to this design. I hope you guys will enjoy it. And everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hi everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's Manny Monday. And we're doing this for my brother's wedding. We've got beautiful black and gold going on with stamped roses, crystals, and a beautiful matte finish. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to another Manny Monday. Getting ready to do another beautiful winter design. And this one is pretty special. I mentioned it in my intro. My brother, Tommy, is getting married on Saturday the 26th of this month. And I'm doing this design just to match the outfit that I'm wearing to the wedding. I'm not in the wedding, but it's the outfit I'm going to be wearing to the wedding. And I thought it would be great to also use that for my photo shoot. His wedding colors is black and white. So I just figured I would do something black with gold just to kind of add a color in. And so we've got some of the nails done with all black, and then we've got two accented nails with the gold. And I'm gonna be working with a stamping plate. I want this one to have roses just to represent a wedding. We're gonna be doing gold roses. And so also because I'm kind of busy this week because of the wedding, I wanna make it a little bit of a quicker video. And also I want um, these really beautiful roses that I found from this stamping plate. So we'll go over all the supplies. So first off, the black and the gold, I'll show you that. The black is this one here. It's the Revlon Color Stay, and it is Stiletto 270, just a beautiful black. And then the gold one is this one here. It's the Sinful Colors, and it is called Gold Jewel, and it is a matte finish. I do have the shiny over it just to dry everything up. I use that Sesh Feet Dry Fast so that I can do the stamping and get this dried up quickly. So I just did that, but it is a matte finish, and I am going to matte this design. And... um. But, of course, first we're going to do the design, matte it, and then I'm going to have some of that shiny, like the roses, I believe are going to be shiny. 
and then the background is going to be gold. Now, I might leave this one alone, but I'm going to do some uh, gold rhinestones. I've got different shades here. We've got some gold in there and a different shade of, it looks pink, but it's not. It's Oh, those, it is pink. There's gold ones in there too. So I'm going to be using those. I probably will encrust this one maybe, or I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm doing. Of course, you've seen the front cover, so you already know what I did. And then I'll show you the stamping plate. The company I'm using, again, is that one called uh, Beauty, or Beauty, I think it's called. This one is from Wish, and it come, you know, comes with a bunch of them. Also came with the uh, scraper. I'll be using the clear jelly stamper. I don't have it in front of me, but you'll see it when I go on. And I'm deciding here which one I want to use. So this plate is 05. It's collection 05. I might go with either this image here on the black nails or this one here because those are roses. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do the, <clears throat> excuse me, the whole nail with this, you know, one of these images. <clears throat> Still getting over that laryngitis. I have to clear that throat. I also have allergies too. Or I'm going to be working with this plate, which is 04, I believe, right? Yep. I'm going to use that rose, and then this one here, I don't know what company this was from. It's been so long. I've had it for so long. It's when the stampy plates first originally came out, and I like that rose right there. So I'll probably do a couple different types of roses on the nails and maybe a couple, um, you know, covered with those, and then I'll put the crystals inside of these roses here or these ones. And then, I, like I said, I'll use the clear jelly stamper. I'll list everything down below where I got it. And then I will be gluing those rhinestones down. They are Sawaski, Sawaski crystals, Sawarski, I should say. So I've got, you know, different versions of the gold ones there. I'll be gluing it down with the brush on glue. And then, um, let's see, is there anything else? I'll be using this to pick them up and just the orange wood stick to push it down. And then um, that will be after I've matte finished it. I might go over with the clear coat just to hold everything down because usually when you mat, the stones don't like to hold as well. So I probably will cover it then with a shiny coat and then go around it to give it that matte finish and leave the stone shiny and some of the roses. I might be adding a little bit of gold through the roses and we'll have to just see as we go along. I will be using this for the stamping. I hope it works. I haven't tried it yet. That's what I'm going to use. So it's the same color of that gold for those roses. And then, like I said, we'll dry it up with this and then we will use a matte finish, the OPI matte top coat. So that should be everything, and it should be a pretty simple design. So I'm going to get started on the stamping, and then I will come back in and show you guys. Okay, so now we've got the stamping done. And as you see, I did it kind of sporadically. I didn't do it through the whole nail because I really want some of the black to show. And I just think that turned out really, really pretty. Isn't that pretty how it's just kind of just placed differently where you have some at the top, some at the bottom, and it's that rose uh, plate. I'll show you that. And there's the thumbs. That way you've got the black still showing. Now I'll show you how I'm doing that. I did decide to not do the single roses. I decided to use this plate and we'll just clean it off there, draw in. You see I'm using that image right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the gold. And what I'm doing when I do this is I'm just, just going over just a little small area and then I scrape it. Let's get this out of the way, this... Um, uh, cotton swab couldn't think and we just get some of the image let's wipe some of it away and whatever doesn't get wiped away is because it just dries so quickly but we're just going to go up right now into we'll go up to into the corner here and i'm using the smaller one and just go like this and we're just going to get some of it going into the corner there and as you see some of it doesn't come off so i'm just going to try again just to get a little bit more on there like that and it completely pull it off <laughs> So we can show you what a boo-boo does. Now, if I use a little bit of tape, it'll just pull it right off, which was awesome. Let's clean the plate really quick. I mean, the stamper really quick, and we'll try this again. But that's just showing you guys that mistakes can happen. Let's do it again. Clean it off. And if you don't do it fast enough with this one, I'm noticing that this one is drying very quickly. So we'll scrape it, pick it up, and very quickly just clean off that area real quick. And then just go into this corner here again. We're going to try this again. And just set it down and roll it. We'll try to do it quicker this time so that it stays. There we go. Now it stayed. Now I could put some towards the bottom. Did I do all of them? Some of them like that one I just did just like in the middle. So I'm going to leave that just like that and leave that bottom open down there. 
I like that. But what I would have done is I would have just got more. I'm just cleaning it off with tape. I would have got a little bit more on the plate and I would have went towards the bottom like I did on the other ones, how we have it at the top and the bottom. But we're going to leave that one just like that because I like it. I want it to be very, uh, you know, this is a very elegant design being a wedding, um, a set of nails to match a wedding outfit that I'm wearing. Like I said, I'm not in the wedding, but um, I just uh, am, you know, making it look more of an elegant look. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in the crystals. I'm going to go through and pick out some good crystals and figure out what I'm doing with the gold now. I will get some done. I'll return. Okay, now we've got the beautiful gold stones placed. And there was only one side, so I didn't want to stick it through the roses. So I just stuck it like where the black would be. So I've got some with one, some with two. This one had I was able to place two, and this one I was able to place two. The rest I just did one. There's one on there, and I'm going to do one on the thumb for you guys. We're just going to place one in the center there. So I thought that would be really pretty. It's making this one very elegant and pretty. So let's draw in. Just get a little dot right there. We're going to place it right in the center there. And then we're going to get uh, pull this out here and get one of these stones. And I'm just picking it up with um, a Q-tip and then set it down into the glue. And then I'm going to use the orange wood stick. Hopefully you got to see me put that down. I wasn't looking. Um, and then it just placed into the glue and then just give it a little push down into the glue. So that's how those stones are going to go. Now, the next step is to go over uh, the nails to, you know, with the Sesh V Dry Fast, the, the shiny coat. And then we're going to go around it with the matte finish. But I'm trying to decide what to do with the gold nails. I might just leave them gold. I don't know if I want to do any stones on that one. Maybe up in the cuticle area. We'll see. But the next step, I'm going to be doing the uh, dry fast. So I'll come back and show you guys. Okay, so I did decide to place some down into the cuticle area of the gold nail. I've got one big one and two small ones. So let's go ahead and do that on the other finger. All right, so we're just going to take some of the brush on glue. We're just going to put a little bit of glue down in here, just kind of going around because we're going to do three stones. So just make sure I have enough glue. I'll draw this in a little bit closer for you guys. All right, and then we're just going to use the orange or the Q-tip. I'm going to pick out a big one first. I see a big one right here. So we're going to do the big one right in the center. Make sure that's the right size. Yep. Okay, and then just make sure it's straight. Then we're going to grab some of the smaller ones. Make sure it's the smallest one. We're going to pick that up and place that right there. Make sure that's the right size. Yep. And get one more out of here in that size and put that on the other side. Then we'll get the orange wood stick and we'll kind of just adjust them. Just slide this up a little more and just getting them into place. Making sure that's the right color. Yep, it is. It just keeps looking like they're changing color. But right there, isn't that pretty? I just wanted just a little bit of bling on those nails as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and top coat with the sesh feet and um, let that dry up. I will show you guys. I'll come back and show you one nail going over stones. Then we're going to mat it. So let me get that done. Okay, so I've got them done with the shiny coat, but I left a couple fingers open just to show you going over stones. I figured I'd leave the gold and one of the black ones. So we're just going to do a nice thick coat going right over your stones, but pulling out any air bubbles. So just kind of go like this and keep going over them. So you pull the air bubbles out and then go down the whole nail. And you want a very, very thick coat of this. It dries very fast. Don't worry. The sesh feet is very awesome. I love it. And it dries the nails really to a nice high shine and uh, help protecting the stones. So like that, and then we left this one, the black one. So we're going to go over that, and you want to just glide across designs that have a stamping image because you don't want it to smudge. So just glide across going over the stones again and just making sure that you are um, pulling out any air bubbles because that would look really bad with air bubbles. So pull them out as you go over the stones. That way now when we do the matte finish, um, you know, it's going to be so nice and flat and nice, and it's going to hold those stones down. But now we are going to mat and not over the stones. We're going to go around it. So I'm going to get some done and then I will come back in and show you guys just a finger or two. Okay, so we've got one matted and one shiny. I like to show you guys both so you can make your own choice on what you like. But I really like this one matted. I just think it is so elegant and pretty. It really brings it to more of a romantic feel. So I really like it done in the matte finish. That's how we're going to do it. But I wanted to show you guys both. So, uh, but anyways, I'm just going to go over a couple fingers while I'm on here. And what I do is I do go over the entire thing, the stone and everything, and it will mattify the stone. And then I just do a dot of the clear. 
So we're just going to go over just a couple nails here and show you. Just go over and it'll mat pretty quick, but make sure that way you don't have to try to go around it and miss spots because you really want this all to be matted to your, uh, you know, your tips and all the free edges. And then I'm just going to do the gold one for you, showing you how I go over the stones with that too. Uh, the whole thing, let me get a nice coat here, sorry. And we're just going to go over the whole thing, the stones and all, and it's going to mattify the stones as well, which look pretty cool. If you ever want to mattify your stones, you can do that as well. But I want to keep my stones um, shiny. You know, there it is, shiny. And I just did a dot of the clear over it, and then the rest stayed matte. Um, but you see what will happen here is see how it's mattified? See the difference between a shiny and mattified uh, crystal. Isn't that cool? So you can also choose how you want that to be done. And I don't know, I kind of like it with that matte. So I don't know, I might even keep that mattified, I don't know. But I'm going to finish up here, and then all you do is just take a dot of the clear and uh, the Seshvit Dry Fast and just do a dot right on the stone. That's all you do. And then that'll bring that back to the shiny to keep the stone shiny and the rest matted. So that's what I did there. See the difference between the two? You can see those are getting matted and that one shiny now. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish up and I'll come back in and show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done and I love the way these turned out. They're very elegant and very beautiful. I love the stamped roses with that gold. I love the matte finish and I love that I did go over it, you know, the stones as well, matting them. I just think the whole thing looks just very elegant and classy and it's going to be perfect for my brother's wedding. So excited. My brother's getting married tomorrow, the 26th of February, and we're going to be going to the Mall of America. How fun. And doing it at the Chapel of Love. I'm very excited for him. And I can't wait for you guys to see the outfit. I will be sharing the outfit with it that matches with this set of nails will be the outfit I'm wearing to the wedding. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely try it out since it was stamping. It was so much easier to do and just gluing on the crystals and then doing a matte finish or a shiny finish, whichever one you like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope everybody is staying safe, happy and healthy and as always, leaning on the Lord. Everybody take care and God bless.